Welcome back, guys. This is Unfinished. I am your host, SK Gitonge. Thank you for joining. Today, we are talking about the new funding model. And our next question is, according to you, what's the difference between the new funding system and the old funding model? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I think a new one, it's a bit expensive. Do you want to like... Mtu anafaa lipe fees like 100 and something k per sem. Na the old one like sisi per sem unapata ni course yetu like course yetu tunafanya tunalipa 25 eh per sem. Na wengine wanalipa hiyo na upate maybe umekewa umekwa kwa hiyo band 5 na uweze afford. Mm, so I guess kuna difference hiyo ndio difference mimi naona. Nimeona here the last one kushinda hii because unaambiwa Iyo percentage unapata bado tu hata ule ule, ule wa chini mwenye wanasema sijui atalipa 5 or 10% of the money bado tu ni domo so wakati mtu ana present akisema oh the lower ones watalipa 5% anaongea tu unajua hiyo 5% but hujui ni donga ngapi so heri tu kwa ile ya nyuma i think tutaendelea na financial capability hiyo sasa ina depend na kwao penye ametoka lakini kwa maoni yangu tu naona tu waje si serikali itawadumu itawadumia eh waje tu wasome modeli ya kitambo ilikuwa ina favor watu unapata kama comrade fee yenye alifaa kulipa ilikuwa nga kidogo kuliko ya sai sasa unapata mtu ama parent ya mtu analipisha over 100k which unaona kama hiyo sipo kwa mtu mwenye anatoka chini. So mimi naona ni heri tu waibakie tu kwa hiyo the old funding model. The old funding model was uniform. As much as it uh, could be having a few issues because you can't say it was 100%, but it was at least 90%. It was easier to work on the remaining small percent to streamline that small percentage than to scrap it and introduce something new that has the a hundred and a million and one teething problems that we might be not be able to achieve. At the end of the day, uh, by the time we come to streamline the new one, so many, a big gap will have been created. So many students will have gotten to a point where their like, education is never an option anymore. So many parents will be in a position where they say, what about education? They don't care. Who will be taking uh, stock of those who will have now missed? There will be no one to take that stock. So it is easier right now to go back and start working on the earlier one because it was uniform. And we look at the small percentage that had a few issues. Then dealing with these teething problems, there are too many. And I don't think we'll get to a point where we will say, now we are somewhere. All the model, ni mzuri kuliko new model. New model, unaweza kuta, kama wanasema vulnerable, ukute mimi ni single mother, lakini mimi ni kuna salada iko juu. Kuliko hata yule two parents. So, all the model in a limit, kila mutu wakue kwa uniform moja, na alipe fee the same. Na mtoto hata, hata kuwa discriminated, akue yeye, anajiona yeye ni mtoto wa maskini, yule ni watajiri, no, what was a uniform? It is the discriminatory part of it. The other one, the barrier, ya kunyima watoto elimu, and also whoever came with the, this system, with the same as whoever had come with the disability. At the severe, we what? At the nani anapima watu anajua. Vile mwenzangu amesema, unazasema atu mtoto ni wa single mother. Who say single mothers are, are poor? There are single mothers who are driving big cars in this country. Yes. Being single does not mean you are not able to look for money. Being married does not mean that you are able to get money. We have poor people who are married and we have rich people who are single. So whoever came with this thing, it's just a total scam. The difference is a total scam to me. So they should go back to the model. They should not deny a student opportunity to education. It is a right, not a privilege. So whoever came with this, we should look at the person, natural, natural, automatically people should go to school. 
So they should scrub this thing and then we can do away with it. And every child should have. In fact, I think we should not be talking like that. We find this, we leave this one. Education in this country should be free, as the Katiba says. This money, wanapeleka huku na huku, it is enough. Ati unapea mtoto mbazalitano kumi. It is enough to be consolidated and we have a single form of structure and education. So the difference is a scam. I think the whole funding model was a, a bit uh, a bit advantageous. The current one uh, will really disadvantage people from uh, a humble background. The older one used to cater for everyone. So long as you get a certain grade, you go to university, you are sure. You alone. I'm also a beneficiary of it. The current one is a bit complicated. And that's why I commence by saying that education should be free. Education should be free and uh, there is no need of even bringing this. If they cannot offer un free university education, why can't they just maintain the former, the former model? Yeah, which used to cater for everyone. If you get your A, your B and you are going to go do a certain course, you'll be funded. Yeah, the current one is disadvantaging these people. You, we have seen in uh, media, even this of yours, People who got A and are supposed to go and do medicine, they are still stranded in the village. So this, this uh, new funding model is, is disastrous and should not be implemented. I urge those who are in the policy making, you need to also, uh, have a look at the society yeah, in totality. Back then we used to get like funding just... Even you would lie sometimes, but this new one, it has got maybe more strategized things that are l running in the systems. And I would say, let us be ready, because at the end of the day, Sisi wengine hata tukulipa your funding, but there are still others who are still waiting for it. So it would be nice we we accept it in a better way. The difference is it is maybe more strategized to students. Yeah. Me when you may apply na when you may kuwa especially me kwanza me kwanza me niumiza me kiviangu ju band ya nyeniko hakuna di upkeep band five ni wale <laughs> like wale ni family out yani wana wame apply help to ju acha tu to apply to kwenye na yeah so yo sign yo apana yo yo the old funding system would give uh, students funds for them to repay back fully, while the new one gives them 40% or 60% depending on the band that they are in. I feel like the new one is discriminatory because it gives you loans according to your financial capability, which takes us to our last question. What advice do you give the government concerning the new funding model? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I guess what drop to your opinion here? New funding more, yo, alafu warudi yetu ili ya kitambo, yo ni better than ni. So advice mina ya zawambia, so concerning ni a new funding model, ni wajaribu tuku tuangalia sisi, kama sisi ma wanya atuchigwezi, veniko, evento wengine, tulikuwa tu pressing na makusi, tuka kuja huku ndani, kuja kusoma. So wengine wetu watuna uwezo wa kusoma, so Warudisha tu ye old funding model. That's my only advice. The advice I think I should give to the government is let our government consider all of us are equal. We need the same. Le we need to be on the same level educationally. Na hizo mambo zingine. So hiyo story ni wanatuletea ita to divide. Na itafanya wengine wakose kupata that level of education sababu they will not be able to acquire or to raise that money kuingia chuo mimi advice yangu kwa government ni kwa wareke uh, wa waje tu yo the old funding alafu waongeze elb instead ya kuleta hii new mm, funding model waongeze elb kwa mtu like kama ulikuwa unapewa 40 upewe 80 ndio ya accommodate yo fee yenye ulikuwa na unafaa kulipa rather than bringing this new funding model. So my advice is one, they just go back to the old model, they modify on that, they work on that to see what worked well and what did not work well so that they can work on that. Otherwise, it is denied children. I know of children who did not do exam because they, did not, they were not able to pay. Me and all parents, they did not get even 50,000. 
in a year. The others will not even get 20,000 in a year. So does it mean you must talk to your messaliwa na you must ask? Ana right your education. Iyo discrimination iye na ilimu kuwe standard for everyone, if not free standard for everyone. Masomo ikuwe masomo ya bure kwa kila mtoto ili mtoto awese kuelimika kozi kama itaonekana ni kama ya kwamba itaonekana huyo mtoto anakuwa neglected ndio unaona street street families we have street families ukienda pale utakuta mtoto alitoroka shule jua likoza either chakula ama fee ya shule mbati odi model ilikuwa ina balance kwa kila mtu that in in my area where i am coming from in madare i have an mp who values everybody anton tom oluoch it, if it comes to the side of ambassador, the man makes it sure that everybody can get an ambassador so that she or he can cater for the school fee to her children or to his children. That's why we are saying that MP, we are going to, to put him there till 2032 because he is working on education. Now we value more, we value education more than everything. Kosi kama si education ya tunge kuwa tunawaona nyinyi hapa mkifanya kazi. Kama si masomo isi magari zote inge kui natembia. Atunge kuwa tunakaa kama watu. That's why njensingu wa mejitokesa wanataka their right. Kosi wa mesoma wakajua ukweli na wakajua ile kitu si kweli. What I would tell the government is uh, to work on public participation. Sometimes you look at uh, some of these things and you ask who advises the government? Why don't you come on the grassroots and ask us what works for us, what is good for us? We will give those suggestions because we are the people, we are the problem, and we are the solution. We can always come up with solutions. Public participation in this model or in any other model, even in the past model, effective and meaningful public participation can really bring uh, a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, number two, uh, the bursary issue. Let bursaries be amalgamated into one. So that all those monies can work for the education for all the children, right from the kindergarten to the higher education. By the time you create a bursary fund to give to a certain person to manage, you are creating a corruption, uh, a budgeted, a budget, uh, you are budgeting for corruption, and we don't want budgeted corruption. The bigger budget for corruption lies in bursaries. Can we amalgate all these bursaries put into one and decide education is free for all the children in Kenya? That is when we will achieve Article 53 on right to education, uh, uh, Article 53, on the rights of the children in this country. My advice to the government is just, if they cannot offer free education, let them go back to the former funding model. It was at least better. Yeah. If at all they cannot earn any free uh, university education, let them come up with the help, the one which used to cater for people who have passed up to a certain level. I think it was a bit... Uh, nini. <laughs> It was a bit uh, better than this. Let it not leave anyone outside as a student. Some of us might be having the parents who are capable, but at some point you meet that the parents are gone. So what do you do? What do you like? What does that student do after the parent is gone? Someone gets into the university. He had all the dreams were coming true because the parent had money. Sure, a lot. But when it comes, maybe after one year or two. The parents are gone. Things are happening in life, naturally. So, if without the, the funding, where will this student go? Nowhere. So, it's better we give everyone a chance. Niki to Nasa Wampia to Paike Kram to Pandiana Stahid. Yeah. Me, Kenyan Gapenda Kombia Gava, Ni at like Waki place where to Kwaizo Banding were considered. Like Adika on as and extent ya ku visit kilam to ajue capability ya mzazi na nini ndio wa place. What was he place to mtu random at wali apply hivi. What wengine unapata mtu wa mekwa band five na juali apply wana mtu wa saiba, mtu wa saiba juki to about family yako. 
kuna pata amekuwekea ame hiyo salari ya mzazi pengine ina range 50 to 100k ndo unapata umeangushwa band 5 so government itu i focus tu na iki tu juu ni kitu kingine serious kabisa lakini watu wajui the only advice that I would give to the government is that they should strive and see that each and every child can access free education because I think everyone deserves a chance. We have come to the end of the show. Thank you for watching. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Ciao.